amount of energy from the sun reaches the Earth's surface. It has been estimated if this energy were averaged over the entire Earth, each square meter collects the energy equivalent of a barrel of oil each day. The energy travels as high frequency light that will easily pass through a clear glazing such as glass. Black surfaces reflect only 5% of this light, so the high frequency light is converted to long wave infrared radiation creating heat. The glazing traps much of the long wave radiation from escaping. For an experiment in solar heating, I spray painted the inside of a shoe box black. Next, I placed an inside outside thermometer inside the box. The open side was covered with clear plastic. Placing the box in the mid-afternoon sun, the inside temperature registered 84 degrees while the outside temperature was 29 degrees. The next day with similar outdoor temperature, the inside temperature quickly shot up to 112 degrees in the noon sun. In the same way the inside of the shoe box became warm, a passive solar house allows sunshine to directly heat the inside of a house. Large amounts of thermal mass inside of the house, such as stone or concrete, store some of the heat for release later. Heat circulates naturally through the house without fans or pumps. Located outside of Fountain City, Wisconsin, in an isolated valley, is a home partially buried in the hill facing south. Sturdy concrete walls hold back the earth, which tempers the temperature of the home. The house never needs air conditioning and a good share of the heat is from solar heating. Solar panels on the south facing roof collect and circulate hot water to an insulated tank inside the house. From the tank, hot water is circulated by plastic pipe inside the ductwork. Wood provides supplemental heat but not normally much wood is needed. Additional passive solar heat comes from large windows in the front of the house. The large concrete inside the house provides the thermal mass to store the heat. Large windows also let plenty of light into the house. Hot water heating can account to up to a quarter of a household's energy usage. Solar water heating can be a cost-effective alternative energy choice.